How's it going, everybody? My name is Zenius, and welcome back to another episode of Tibia. So we're picking up right where we left off, where we are going through the cult membership trials in order to become a cult member of the cult of Helmaraz. And I'm going to see how many times I can say cult before you guys get annoyed at me. I don't really know if you guys are going to get annoyed at me. I don't know how you guys feel about me just yet. So anyway, we just finished up something... And I completely forgot what we're doing. Oh, yes, we are on our way to the forest, which is slightly up north in order to get a vial of blood from the rabid bears. Now, the rabid bears, I thought, uh, I, I was under the impression that they were tier three. So the, the red uh, bears, the ones that had the little red skull by them whenever you fight them, I thought that that's what they were. But it's only the tier two. It's the one with the white skull next to it. So I was freaking out for no reason, really, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, I don't know exactly why I'm showing you this. I started by the portal, or I actually started in Ashmore right where I left off in the last episode. And then when I uh, came over, I just started recording here. Uh, and I don't know why I didn't edit this out now that I'm thinking about it. But who freaking cares? It doesn't matter. So in this episode, I, uh, towards the end of it, I do look into getting a new pet and seeing what all it would take. And I didn't realize actually how much stuff what goes into, uh, actually, hold on one second. I'm getting a phone call. I need to, I apologize for that. That was a telemarketer, but it had the area code of where I grew up, where my parents live currently. So I, whenever it's that area code, I always have to answer just because I don't know if it's like uh, the insurance company that my parents have uh, locally that I, I still uh, talk to and have my insurance through or if it's, you know, some a family friend of ours or something or a church friend or something like that. So I always have to answer those numbers just because I'm, I really don't know who it's actually ever going to be. So I apologize for that. So I, I talked to this lady right here. I, I really don't, I completely forgot her name. I, um, and I can't read it. Aloka, Aloka, Alosa. I don't know. Something like that. Anyway, I talked to her while I was off camera. I edited it out because there was really no point to having it in the game or in the playthrough video at least. But the... Um, when I talk with her, I ask her, I had the option of asking her about Pyramus, and I'm not entirely sure why, and, and part of it is because we haven't gotten to that point, point in that quest, so I'm not sure if that's, uh, that's where we need to go next, if this is the next step afterwards, or if I'm just, like, going around asking literally everyone about Pyramus. You know, how you do in real life. Like, if you want to know something about someone, you go out and ask everyone everything that you can think about this one person. You know? You know how you do in real life? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. <clears throat> so, I... Um... I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest, I don't often have a lot of commentary like I, I've heard of different youtubers talking about how they have to script out like their uh, their videos like oh I'm gonna say this at this time and yada 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 literally that's not me I can't do that like I, I would have way too many outtakes that way because I'd be like oh I didn't say it the way I wanted to say it yada 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 and so me just sitting here and saying whatever I want to say first-hand improv <clears throat> never rehearsed it before it, it feels it feels nerve-wracking because I honestly don't know how it's gonna come out but I prefer it that way I prefer the way of it being completely off the cuff first time out of the gate you know I recorded this a little bit differently than I did in the last episode because I think it looks better but I'm not sure if I can read Good work! The vial is brimmed with blood. You passed the last test. You truly have proven yourself worthy to become a real member. Now is the time for you to perform the ritual. The ritual? The ritual is the final exam to graduate as an Acelite. If Only if you pass uh, the test, you will be able to finish your education and become a full member of the cult. Let me know if you are ready to start your graduation. I'm ready! 
All right, let me explain it to you. The graduation will be your first demon summoning ritual. It will only last a small demon like an imp, but you will evoke a real demon. All the candles, idols, and blood you have gathered are part of this trial. You have to set them up in a certain pattern. To figure that out is your first task. The second step is to uh, kill the demon. Only if you can deal with a demon you have evoked on your own, you will become a real member of uh, minion of Helmeraz. The ritual room can be found in the top mansion. Return when you have finished the graduation. So I I think it was done in a different format the last time I was here because I remember this part. I remember evoking an imp and having to fight an imp and being like, oh, that was incredibly easy. And but it wasn't this. Like I don't, I don't remember doing any of this, uh, any of this ritual stuff. Going and looking for the idols and getting the, uh, the blood. Like I'm, I'm wondering, what. I, I'm wondering if this was done in a different style or different format, the last time I played the game, because this is all new to me and I'm, I'm loving it. I love that. I can play a game and it's brand stinking new, but it's just, I don't know. It's, it's very interesting. So I pulled this up because I just wanted to be dramatic and I don't know why, but I said, uh, let's march into hell with a heavenly cause. And then I just activated the thing. So I, as you can see, I take it down very, very quickly. Like it doesn't, it doesn't take me more than a couple seconds to do it. It's not that big of a deal, honestly. So, uh, if you come here as like a level 10 or a level 12, you will have no problem doing this by yourself. Like, I have no problem helping you out if you want, but seriously, you don't. You don't need my help. For this, for this first part, it's really nice to have someone helping you. Like, with the Ace of Lights, they're a little bit difficult <clears throat> to fight every, um, when you have them in numbers. Rabbit Bears, same way. But really all of this you can do completely solo unless the unless the mission itself calls for you to have more than one person in order to complete it there's really no reason for you to have other people because you don't really need them you know what i'm saying all right whatever we graduated Excellent work, Xenius. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Most of the novices need many years to graduate. Kneel down. Kneel. I proudly appoint you as a full member of the cult. From this day in your life, you belong to the cult. The uh, evocation of Helmaraz is our great highest goal. Without question, you will take every effort to achieve this. From now on, you will enjoy a lot of privileges. Raise yourself, Aesolite Xenius. Now take some time to unwind. You deserve it. Hail to Hesmaraz! Thank you. Finally, I got access to the Duke's castle. I should return to Deludo and report to him. So now that we have finish this i uh i'm able to go to the duke uh I, I took a little shortcut there i went all the way back to ashmore city just so i could take the portal down to deludo so i wouldn't have to go back through the mansion again because i'm smart it's kind of whatever really all right uh splendid you have succeeded the mayor will be happy to hear of it we have no time to waste as a promoted member of the cult you've got access to the duke's castle inform him about our situation and beg him for his support afterwards return to mayor winnen and report to him i guess you know the way to the castle no i've never really been there before travel northward until you reach the scarecrow forest take the lane to the north east and follow the path to the barren isle hills there you will see the once glorious castle in the distance understood i didn't understood it so i said no again but it's kind of pretty much straightforward because there's a freaking arrow pointed in the way that you're supposed to go i think i head back to ashmore first before i i do anything else so i i really want to know what those special privileges are now that he's talked about him because he said you will be privy to many special privileges but there's no real area there's no real place for me to find privileges or at least i haven't stumbled upon it yet like i'm not sure if there's an area that like gives me weapons at a discounted price or it gives me potions at it or it gives me spells even like of of anything i would think that the Cult of Helmaraz would have, like, a special spell. Would have a, like, interesting spell that you could learn and use in your day-to-day -day life. 
I don't know. It's just me, I guess. So I tried to go through the portal or the, the gates over to the northeast of the um of the ashmore city but it wouldn't let me through it said i needed some sort of a city pass or something i don't remember exactly what it said but but um i've never heard of that before i didn't know that i needed a city pass in order to get in and out of a city you you certainly don't need that in aria i you can enter and exit through any gate and you'll be fine none of the castle guards will stop you or anything one thing i kind of do wish that you had in this game that you could like retreat to or something is having your own lair or, or having your own hideout i guess would be a, uh, a a cooler thing i don't know just something that you could like you have the depot where you can store all your stuff and you can store all of your items but having like i don't know an underground cavern that only you can access or or having i don't know uh um uh, portal that goes directly to your cavern that only you have access to or something like that you know I, I think that would be a really cool concept because you're this adventurer you're this warrior who is fighting for the good of Aria and all of the uh, tibia islands so I, I I just think that you would have your own place to stay or or Oh, now that I'm thinking about it, oh, that would be really cool if you had, like, your own room in the castle of Aria. Or your own room in every single castle. So, like, the cool thing is, uh, in Libera, you don't really have a castle, you don't really have a place to stay, there's nothing really there to save, it's just kind of this fishing village. And then in Aria, you finally get your first place to stay, and then you come to Ashmore, and the castle has been overtaken by the cult of Helmoraz, or something like that, you know? And it would be so awesome if you had to, like, fight your way through the castle and overtake it and then get your own uh, quarters or something like that. Ah! Now, I want this now! I, I want to email Tibby and me about this now. Just because, why not? This is the first time that we're seeing the Tier 3 ghosts. The Tormented is what they're called. Uh, they're a much higher level than anything else that we have fought before. I'll show you guys in a minute on screen, um, of where it shows the stats. Uh, so that, it, it was a little bit nerve-wracking to try and fight it. And my wolf can't do any damage against these guys because he does only hit damage. Uh, so I started looking into different pets that can do holy damage, and apparently bats do. Apparently bats do holy damage. So I'm I've at the end of this episode I go back to see what it takes to get a spirit catcher and It actually it takes a whole lot. I, I'll read off the list when I get it get to it at the end of this episode but it was not what I expected and I uh, I definitely think that that's something I'm going to invest in not because I want to be on Ashmore a lot and not because I plan on being here and fighting skeletons and and ghosts and all that a uh, whole awful lot i just think that that's a good thing to have um so yeah here's the duke all hail Aesolite. how could i be of service to the cult i'm only a meaningless servant of helmaraz oh no the Duke has been overtaken by the cult of Helmeraz. I must report this to the mayor. These are both cultists right here. Uh, I I activated my wolf in there. I don't know why. He wouldn't be of much help to me. I don't think. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I just, the minute I stepped into the castle, I was like, I don't feel safe. I don't want to. I don't want to be here by myself anymore. This sucks. Let's quit. But whatever. It's fine. It's. It worked out but yeah wouldn't that be cool if you could if you could walk in or you had your own quarters in a castle I'm gonna look into that afterwards to see if there's something on tibia's website about that that'd be cool that'd be really cool I'm glad you're back honestly you deserve a reward tell me how did it go you say he is cursed then it's as bad as I thought the cult is controlling the Duke and using him as a puppet until his curse is lifted, he won't be able to act against the evil. We have to talk to Mirak. 
who is Mirak. Mirak is an old friend who lives on a island, small island north of Ashmore. I haven't met him by now, but it is said that he is a master in brewing, antidotes and potions. Under a decayed old house, a few yards westward of Ch Clanky's Forge, there is a tunnel which leads directly to the island. I hope he knows a cure. So that's where we're off to next. Next, I don't know where Clanky's Forge is. I don't know who Clanky is. Uh, and I don't plan... Well, I have to learn because of because of this game, but whatever. Anyway, um, I brought it forward for no apparent reason. I actually haven't even ended the episode yet. It just seemed like a natural place to end it, so that's, that's why I ended it. So, we're back on the uh, island of Aria, where I feel more safe than ever, because there's no one to help me whatsoever on... Ashmore, like I, I feel alone. I feel completely isolated on Ashmore. Um, all right, so I talked to him, uh, and he's just he gives you information about the different types of summoning and um, the just the basics on having and owning a pet and what you need to do. I go in here to make sure that I can get the pet that I'm thinking of, which is the bat, because I think well, actually, if you look on. Uh, it's not. It's a fan site of Tibia, and they have a list of all the pets you can get and when you can get them, because you're limited by the um, the level that you are. Okay, so here's the guy. Uh, what brings you here, my friend? Spirit catcher is not an easy, uh, not easy to forward, and requires gems to focus the magic. Bring me an emerald, ruby, sapphire, topaz, and an ox. Okay, I know where I can get onxes. But all the other crap, I don't even know. Like, that's all stuff that I'm just like, yeah, okay, I'll find it eventually, I guess. I, I don't know. So, I'm going to be exploring that. I'm probably going to look into that when I finish recording this episode, which is actually right about now, because the episode actually did end, finally. So, I'm going to look into finding those things, the Emerald Sapphire the thing and thing. You saw it. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to be looking into getting those things so I can, uh, so I can get another spirit catcher because I think having a pet that can do holy damage is really going to help me in the long run. Because if I if I just have pets that can't do any damage whatsoever against things like ghosts, then there will be parts where I'm going to be pretty screwed and be moving pretty slow. So, I'm going to look into that before I. Uh, uh, well, I, I probably won't do it before the next episode, but I will do my best to try and search for those things. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please drop a like down below. Remember, I am in World 14 if you want to join me, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.